Okay, so let's talk about using calculated columns in our query results. I'm going to go ahead and get a new SQL tab over here. And I want to look, let's go back to our ER diagram. In our country code, you'll see we have name, continent. Down here, we've got GDP and GDP old. So that should allow us to calculate a change in GDP. So let's uh, take a look at what this would look like. I am going to select, and then I'm going to select the columns that I want. I want the name. I want the continent. Uh, I want the current GDP. And I want the GDP old from country. And I'm going to start by just doing this. And let's see if this pulls what I want so far. So I'm going to execute. And it says, nope, it doesn't recognize GDP. It's because it's GNP, gross national product, not gross domestic product. So now let's execute our query. And there we go. We have our data. So name, continent, GDP, and GDP old. Now I want to calculate the difference between the current GDP and the GDP old. And bear in mind, this database has been around for a while. It's a sample database. So the data is not accurate, but that's okay. It'll still give us a chance to show what we want to do. So I'm going to calculate the GDP change by taking the uh, current GDP and subtracting the old GDP. So this is what I'm going to have. It's going to go on my select statement here. So where, or I'm going to say GNP minus, put a space there, make it easier, GNP old. Now, if I execute it, it's going to give me the fact that I typo a column name. There we go. And I'm finding that down here in my results. So now with the right column name, here we go. It shows us our name, our continent, our GNP, our GNP old, and then our GNP minus GNP old. Now, this right here is what shows up as the column name. And SQL realizes this is a formula, and so it calculates it and shows here is our gross national product in millions. Here was our gross national product previously. This is the uh, change in it. So this column heading is a little bit weird. So what I want to do is I want to uh, call that GNP change. So I'm going to do as GNP change. And what that's going to do is that's going to show a, or change our column name. And there we go. Now, that shows us our GNP change. So combining this with a WHERE clause, let's say I want to look specifically at the country of Africa. So I'm going to do WHERE continent equals Africa. And this will show me my GNP change for all of my countries in the continent of Africa. My current GNP, my previous GNP, and the change. And you'll notice whether it was a positive or negative change just for Africa. So that's how we can do a calculated column. Now, you can add on more calculated columns. But one thing I want you to be aware of is, let's say I wanted to calculate a percent GNP change. So I'm going to do another comma here, and I'm going to do my percent GNP change by taking my GNP change and dividing it by my previous GNP, GNP old. Now, when I execute this, it generates an error for me, and that's because it doesn't recognize GNP change. Even though I just defined it here, it doesn't recognize it because it evaluates this all at one time. And it doesn't recognize the GNP change because it's not created yet. So what I can do is I can take this. And I'm just going to copy and paste that right here. And I'm going to put this inside parentheses. And then to get my percent GNP change, I'm going to take the entire thing. and multiply it by 100. And so now I'm going to execute. And you'll see here is our GNP percent change. But you'll notice now we have this weird name here. So we're going to change or rename that 
as PCT. I can't actually use the percent sign. That's used for something else. As percent GTP change and execute our query. And there we go. We now have a calculated value, two calculated values actually, in our query results combined with a where clause to filter our results. Now, let's say I wanted to look at a particular country this way. That would be changing our where clause again. So I want to do where name. Actually, let's do country code. It means I don't have to type as much where country or just code because I'm in the country table. Go confirm that. I'm going to look at my ER diagram. And in, in city, it's country code. In country language, it's country code. But in country, it's just code. So I'm going to do where code equals. And let's look at France, I think, is FRA. Let's find out. Let's execute. And there is France in Europe. This was their G gross national product, their previous nas gross national product, the change and the percent of change. So there we go. That's how we can do calculated columns in a query.